except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. How about my appearance? Are you surprised by the, uh, you know, the getup I got going on? Yo, what's up, guys? So, I kind of just, I was going to write out a script, and I feel like it is every single week I, I'm making a video which requires a script, but, um, I'm not good at writing scripts, so instead I'm just going to sit here and talk about how I feel about Hogwarts Legacy. So, I truly feel as though Hogwarts Legacy set the standard for games that are going to be coming out, um, from here onwards, because the release of this game has been so unbelievably smooth. Um, any game I've played recently that uh, I played on drop uh, on the release has been, it's, it's had issues, right? Like it'll, it'll crash or there's like uh, performance issues, uh, glitches, bugs, this, that, everything, right? And, and it's pretty rare for you to have a game that comes out on release in almost a perfect state. But Hogwarts Legacy, it came out and it had no issues at all. Maybe slight performance issues on my end um, with like loading screens taking a while or when I reach a new area, it takes, I have to have like, a, it loads for a second, right? But I think that's just my PC being um, not really a high-end PC at this point. And otherwise, I mean, the game has just been really, really amazing. And it's, it's you know, I have nothing to complain about when I play it. Um... And with that being said, like, I just want to talk about the game itself. And in the background here, you'll see uh, gameplay of me playing it on stream. If you guys want to see me play through games, new releases that come out, make sure you check out this Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Murphy, M-X-R-P-H-X. The link is always in the description. Um, but yeah, so Hogwarts Legacy is an open world um, it, it gives you freedom to explore wherever you want to go, and I really, really, really love how much attention to detail they put into this world. Um, even just wandering around Hogwarts, there's little things that you can interact with that bring the world to life, and you can tell there's been extreme attention to detail when playing this game, or when, when making this game, I should say, where every single hallway, every single, um little thing you see on the wall or in the hallway you can interact with or it's a puzzle or it'll be of importance in some time or it's it's lore based where if you you can get like a little what is it called like a field note or whatever they call it and it has like a little lore paragraph about what happened with it what it has to do with the harry potter world or something like that it's really really in depth and it feels like you're really part of the world when you're playing through the game and i love that about it and that isn't only a thing in the castle itself, but when you leave and you go exploring um, Hogsmeade or the Forbidden Forest or um, all the different places, everywhere you go, there's little things you can interact with, like puzzles and caves and monsters and bad guys. And there's not really anywhere in the world that feels like it's empty or dead. It all has a certain feeling of life to it. And it really makes it so much more enjoyable to play the game when, when everywhere you go, you are interacting with different parts of the world. And from that point, um, the world itself is really, really beautiful. The graphics and the art design, the everything is really, really, really well done. Um, I can't praise this game enough for how beautiful I think it really is and how well it's come out. And um, the sense of danger at least earlier on in the game that I felt, it felt really immersive. So early on, you're following one of your classmates and he brings you out to Hogsmeade, which is like a little village outside of the castle. But as you go by, he points out there's a forbidden forest. And if any of you have seen the movie, you know what the forbidden forest is. And I was like, okay, as soon as I'm done this mission, I got to go check out the forbidden forest. There's no way I, I don't do that. Right. And as I was exploring it, I was going in, I was like, okay, I, it's not too scary. This is fine. And I started seeing signs pop up. On, on the right of me, on the left of me, on the, on the pathway, and I'm like, oh, so they're saying it's dangerous if you go past here. And I was going through, and I looked down, like, this dark, not corridor, but, like, there's, like, trees and stuff, right? Like, it's like a little pathway. And off in the distance, I see centaurs, which I vaguely remember seeing in the movies were really scary. And it gave me goosebumps. I got a little scared because I was like, okay, I'm not messing with those guys. Like, I'm not, let me get out of here. Like, I don't want to deal with them. And it was really, really cool just experiencing that. And since I'm talking about referencing the movie, um, 
in the earlier cutscene, at the very, very beginning of the game, I thought it was really, really cool, and I just want to point it out, that there's, um, what are they called? Thestrals. Sorry. So there's Thestrals, right? And the way Thestrals work is, as far as I know, um, yeah, so, so you can see a Thestral when you've witnessed death. So in the beginning, there's just a carriage that's just flying along with nothing carrying it. But there's someone that's in the carriage with you when a, a, a dragon attacks you and it bites off half your carriage. And the guy that's in there with you dies to the dragon. And when he dies, all of a sudden the Thestrals appear in front of the, in front of the carriage, which I think is a really, really cool attention to detail. And um, it might have gone right over some people's heads, and I thought it was really interesting, so I just wanted to point it out that even that much um, attention to detail was added to the game, and it was really interesting. Um, I also wanted to mention the combat in the game is also really, really well fleshed out, I think with the way that uh, Protego works on, on enemies when you have to use a certain type of spell which will break their shield and all the different shields require different spells. So it doesn't, you don't just get stuck using a single spell in every single combat. You kind of need to go through it and, and figure out little combos like this spell will pull it close and break the shield, this spell will do damage, this spell will knock them away. And you set up this little combo and it's really, really creative because there's so many different combinations you can do. And I really, really enjoy that. And it feels really fluid where you can be swapping from target to target, throwing out spells, dodging, going to a different target, throwing out more spells, and you charge up your meter and use your little special attack and lightning flies out of the air. It's really, really, really fun to just fight and go around um, fighting people. And I found myself not even progressing in the main story because I'm just exploring the world. And the world is massive in this game. And I'm just wandering from place to place fighting stuff because I have so much fun just hucking spells and comboing them and, and dude I really can't praise this game enough with how much I enjoy it and if you guys haven't picked it up yet or you are unsure if you think you want to pick it up I would suggest it's definitely a game that you should play I can't vouch very much for the main story but from what I've heard it is good um, I think I'm about like 30% into it and I've put about 20 hours into the game or something close to that. But it is honestly one of the most enjoyable experiences I've had in the last year or two when it comes to gaming. Um, so even if you're not a fan of Harry Potter, um, and even more so if you are a fan of Harry Potter, I think you should check out this game. I think you should play it, and I think you guys will all enjoy it. And I really hope to see more games coming out this year and for many years in the future that have releases that are as smooth, as unproblematic, and are as fun to play as Hogwarts Legacy is. So yeah. Oh wait, I should also say make sure you or subscribe, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, drop a comment. Thank you guys for watching this video, I appreciate it. And once again, um, if you guys wanna see me play through games, new games um, on stream, I'm live almost every single day. Make sure you check it out, twitch.tv slash Murphy, MXRPHX, the link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your night. I know you can't see me, but I'm doing the, the finger heart into the camera right now. Much love, guys. Peace out.